<laughs> hey everybody we came back like we promised we're at a, another historical cemetery this is an african-american cemetery established in 18 earliest plot known established in the early 1800s there's over 1500 unmarked plots in the cemetery Fifteen hundred unmarked plots. How are you guys doing today on this beautiful Sunday evening? We just ate, getting a little sleepy. It's getting late in the day, but we're doing a, hey Kaya, she found us again. So did you get um, an alert? You got a notification that we were going live? Just wondering if TikTok's on the up and up, notifying our people. We appreciate it. We're doing a late afternoon cemetery walk. Um, this is a historical African-American cemetery um, over in our Bartow area it's very interesting uh because it has a lot of a lot of history here um like we were we were mentioning earlier a lot of the plots have images on them yes, not only that, it's, it's the first um black cemetery in uh polk county um the first black settlers are buried out here. Slaves are buried out here. Over 1,500 unmarked graves out here. Um, dates back into the 1800s. There's at least, like we said, there's at least over 1,500 unmarked plots out here that they're not sure how far back those date to. So... Last time we were out here, which was some years, a couple of years now, these uh, these were covered with the trees. Remember, they cut them down. What's this? Our damage. Oh, how it's sunken in. Yeah. This plot. Mm -hmm. And see, this is this is a prime example of why Florida has the vault system now. So the graves don't cave in. Right. I don't think you guys can really see. Let me. Uh, see if I'm going to see it at a different angle. Yeah. How the graves sink in over time. Yeah, if they don't have the vault. Yeah. So more likely this was back in the maybe the 70s, 80s. There's no date on it. Yeah. It's just a name. The lawnmower looks like the lawnmower ran it yeah. over. We got a few people in. Yep. We appreciate you coming back in. Kaya. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Kia. Kaya. Yeah, see all these trees. Believe it or not, all these bushes got um, graves in them. 
there's, plots, there's, yeah. Yeah, plots and barriers in them. That's why I was saying these right yeah. here, they cut. These two were overgrown a lot, but they cut them down. Somebody came and mm -hmm. cut them. Must be the families Family or the... Like yeah. Which is good. Yeah, we'll find, we'll find some in the bushes and stuff. Right here. Yeah, yeah there's... And these... I don't know if they were driven, but... Can y'all hear Mike? If you can, tap the screen. Let us know. Say something, Mike. Hey! <laughs> now, these graves that's in the bushes definitely are forgotten graves. I mean... You can see the headstones in here. Like, see, within all these bushes, there's, yeah, there's plots, plots in, them, yeah. in there. This is a historical cemetery, African American um, cemetery from the early 1800s. A lot of to current. There's still people being buried here. Um, it's a lot of history early pioneers settlers uh leaders previously enslaved thank you they said they can hear you because i know i got a big mouth sometimes so my mouth my voice may cover up his Say what? Looks like I was pushed over. Yeah, ain't no way. I was gonna say you can't pick that up. Nah, I'm gonna try with trying uh, to see move. But yeah, ain't no way that thing fell. Somebody had to push that over. So. Yeah, that was pushed off. And it was also mounted. See the little glue up under it. We're straightening up whatever we can straighten up, but we like to come out and visit and read the um, tombstones. Try uh, to read them. <laughs> yeah, try to read them. Yeah. Get to know a little bit of the history yeah. on them, the dates. Yeah, they cut all this back. This was all covered. Yeah, all in, this back here yeah. used to be overgrown. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can see but they, they cleared the it trees, out yeah. with the plots. There's a black and white. That's it for you. 1948 to 1967. Mm -hmm. There's one specific plot up here I want to... Well, there's two I want to really show you guys. That's really interesting to me. Oh, wow. Look at that one. That's a weird looking... Yeah, um, this is different. This is a different yeah. type of... Just the wave. Well, that could have been probably handmade or so. Yeah, it looks like they came there's and did it themselves. Here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yeah. For the first timers here on our channel, um, it's Drina and Mike's Paranormal. We like to do paranormal investigations, but we also like historical sites as well. And we feel like the two go hand in hand his history and haunts so yeah that's what we do and that's not really why we're out here we're kind of sharing some places that we've come to a couple of our historical locations that we found <coughs> And like I said, um, Peace Garcia, yeah. Uh, we like to, to do a little digging with the his history, especially of our ancestors. There's so much out there that's not known. Um, earlier today, we tried to visit one of, yeah, we tried to visit one of another African-American cemetery here in florida and unfortunately it's overgrown so bad that you can't even get to it anymore and it's sad to see 
it just go to waste like that. And if y'all would actually see the plots that are in the cemeteries, it 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 hurts your heart to see that unfortunately all those people have just been forgotten about and the cemetery is neglected. Well you have a couple people that was going out there but not no more. It's too grown up. I ain't no way they can be going out there now. The long covers, you I mean the cement slabs on top of the plots? Is that what you're asking about? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, peace. I totally agree. Exactly. The town won't because I believe because it's in such a small town. Um, maybe they're limited. It could be, or it could be a vocal as well. But more likely, it's probably a, a grave. It's a plot that's yeah. sinking in. Mm -hmm. and they're trying to. They're probably going to come out and probably either probably seal it up or something. Oh, I totally agree. They, uh, yeah. If we could do something to help look, set up funding. A two headstones right there. Like the even out here, this is a well preserved cemetery that I, I believe. But yet, and still, you see plots still like sitting in bushes and way back in the cut. And people just like all this, they throw shrubbery over it like nobody's there. Like, where's the respect at? It's sad. And again, I say that's why I don't want to be laid to rest in a ground. Just cremate me, please. It's sad. But these slabs, somebody was asking again what these cement slabs are. Well, the ones that you see above the ground like this, it's a vault. I'm going to show you. You see the difference? This is a grave right here. This, this is a prime example. This is a prime example of why they use the vault, which is this. And if you can see here. I don't know if y'all can see how the ground is sunk in here. Well, yeah, that, that, this, this is, is a plot. Right, this is a plot that doesn't have a vault, which is one of these, but it's two different uh, parts. It's two parts to it. You have the vault, which is here, under this, and then this sits on top of it. And the reason we do that, well, they do that in Florida is because of this. Without that vault, that ground sinks in from the weather, from the rain and all that type of thing. So they put the vault, goes down six feet under, then they put the casket inside the vault and put the lid on top of that. So that's why- Just to kind of help these. weatherproof it in a sense. Well, what, what happens, it keeps the bodies from coming up. Right. Uh, keeps the caskets come, from coming up. But that's why you see the vaults above the ground like this. Otherwise the ground will yeah. sink in, it gets wet. Now, the... if, if you was to move the top, you'll see the casket. And well, it, it, a lot of times water seeps into those as well, yeah. but yeah, but the, the body ground doesn't up. sink like and this. And the body don't float up. And I think this is from also the casket collapsing in. Right, and, right, right. Yeah. Like so, like this vault doesn't have sand in it. The only thing inside of here is the casket. It don't have sand in it. But if you, you move this, you'll see the casket. Well. The remains of the casket, anyway, and the bones probably. Maybe us going live at cemeteries will encourage some people <coughs> to help. I've noticed a lot of African American cemeteries go abandoned. They get built over. They get forgotten about. Nobody takes care of them. They're neglected. And well, you got you got African American graveyards, but you also have different colonies you know what i'm saying which uh, yeah that's right you're that, right crazy carol that has cemeteries also that's been forgotten we have a couple up in north florida in ocala north of us in ocala in the ocala forest that's the same as that thing but it is it's the first settlers that was there which 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 was caucasian so you, you have a lot of history that's been forgotten but people don't really care about it no more no nope it's sad see the good part about here 
from the last time we came. Then I did a lot of cutting. It's been cleaned up yeah, some. Cleaned up a lot. It, it even had a couple um, vaults that had cracks, but I don't, I don't see them. Maybe in the wrong area. Where well, you can literally see inside of it. Down there, something there too. Mm -hmm. Like these small plots inside. Right. Oh yeah. I don't think people realize you can literally some of the neglect that goes into these cemeteries. You can see the top of the casket. And see how this one is. Yeah, you can see the oh, top wow. of the casket. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. But if Hang you look on, closely me, in here. I'll put a light on it. That inside is the top of the casket. It actually looks like a metal box. Turn the flashlight on. Okay, I turned flashlight on. Flashlight on. Okay, I turned flashlight on. You're blocking it though. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all look in there, y'all can see the casket as well. Mm -hmm. That is wrong. So, and the crazy part is we paid so much to be buried. Well, we don't pay them. But well, you know what I'm families saying. Pay so much families pay. But, but that's another thing too. The family. They don't come they anymore don't, after they don't so come long. In. And sometimes they could just move on pass on there's nobody left to look after these right. plots right but that's what the that's what the cemetery the grounds people are for i well, think to be honest with you you see the energy from a spirit on this one yeah the the this plot this ground this plot is paid for so actually you know who owned this plot the person the family Mm -hmm. That's who own this this one particular area. Exactly. They paid for that. Yeah, they paid. Yes, for that. Sandy. So you got graves all over here. Like the fence, There's a lot. Man, if y'all would have saw the one that we tried to show you earlier today, you would have been just disgusted because it was disheartening. Like the pro the and the the thing is, they have a nature trail right next to the cemetery. And oh wow, look at that one! And of course, the people, um, your light's still on. The people walking that nature trail, you wouldn't even know. There's a cemetery like right in the woods next to you. And there's over a hundred plots, over a hundred plots marked in that area that just get overlooked. I know I've seen a lot of them in Georgia as well. Um, abandoned, forgotten cemeteries. It's just sad. This is a lot is vandalism like this right here i think is this, from weather but not only that it was an above ground vault this and it one, sunk yeah well it sunk and it broke apart it was one of those above ground vaults that's why you see the name on it see the name it, 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 it wasn't supposed to go in the ground it's right on top of the right. ground right 
Um, a lot of these are so old, the rain has washed any mm -hmm. information on them away. Well, you can see inside of it, but I don't see a casket. I just see rocks and rocks earth. and right. So more likely what this could be as well is that could have been, he might be buried under or she might be buried under and they put the vault on top of it. Right. Yeah. Tap the screen if y'all can hear me. I think we're in a spotty location. Uh, but the cemetery that we're at is called Evergreen Cemetery. It's located in Bartow, Florida. Y'all keep tapping that screen, please. Let us know that you're there. We're trying to get ourselves to 8,000 likes to double ours from earlier today. Um, we're gonna keep trying to do these lives a little bit more frequently, at least on the weekends, if we can. We're gonna try and do a couple of ghost hunts uh, through the evening times. And I don't know if we'll go live with those or not because it's a little harder to see. But um, if y'all are into the paranormal, Y'all go check out our, our link in our bio for our YouTube channel and you can subscribe to that. All right, you can subscribe to that. We also post videos like if not twice a week, once a week on our paranormal channel. So thank you guys in advance and appreciate the support. I think we're also trying to talk Mike. I'm gonna try and talk Mike into doing a Q&A one of these days. But he feels like that's kind of boring. He wants to take y'all on a ride, take y'all outside, let y'all see. Yeah, I want to keep y'all entertained. I don't want you to be bored with it. Let y'all see exactly what we do. This is above the ground vault right here. See how it is? Above the ground. Right. Thank you for the taps. Keep tapping though, keep tapping. We keep losing our signal. I apologize. I thought we were in a good area. The holy ground we're on. We are walking on holy ground, so. Oh yeah. Dang, they got the whole thing cemented, huh? Wow. That's different. So you just heard an EVP? Did you hear an EVP? Okay, this is what I want to see. Oscar Sweet was born in 1893 and died in 1895. He was two years old. But that just goes to show you that this grave was here in the 1800s. This graveyard was here in the 1800s. So I'm assuming that these was the first settlers this, I believe, is mm -hmm. the newer section of the cemetery, right? The other we, we assume that because how would this baby if it was eighteen hundred? Right. They say half of the cemetery was the older section, half of it was the newer section. Right. This is supposed to be the newer section on this side. But like Mike just pointed out, this is eighteen ninety five. Was maybe the, they, that's when they moved. Uh... Now here's another question. And I believe. The groundsmen take care of this whole cemetery. It's all right. one now. But here's my question. Could this just be headstones, but not the bodies? Now those, those, right, those could be the bodies, but you see how they're buried. Yeah. So it could be just be headstones, but not the bodies. But 
Well, this is 1975. This person here died in 07. They had their chickens on here, too. Oh, this is a family plot. Yeah, this whole sweets. thing is sweets, right? Married for fifty-one years. Right. Oh, that's nice. So, so the question is: Are the are all these um, the sweets family burial grounds, or do they move those plots to make it all one big sweet area? Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Black and white. Mr. Sylvester Stevenson. Yeah. He looked like a businessman. She said, or they may be under the concrete headstone and headstone on tip. On top. Yeah, we were trying to want, we were wondering the same thing, April. I've never seen one like this with the right. whole, but maybe this is all the plots. But, but if you look, if you look here, if you look here, you can tell that the cement was pulled around. After. Yeah, after the, after the uh, grave, right. Yeah. So they had the yeah. cement, cement poured on over right. the plots. Right, over, you can tell. Is this in Tampa? Aren't we on the outside of Tampa? Uh, Bartow. Bartow, Florida. Uh, we're south. We're just south of Lakeland. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say we're um, east east of Tampa of Highway 60. Are you from Tampa, Francesco? Are you familiar with this area? <laughs> wow, look at that sky, y'all. Is that not beautiful? Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. It looks like it's like a beam be, yeah. a beam of I don't know if I keep losing tap the screen y'all tap the screen let me know if y'all can hear me if I still have a signal please acknowledge and tap the screen for us keep losing signal we do good we lose signal yeah it probably depends on where we move to right this is the last one really over here in this corner I want to show. Well, I wonder who that big thing was over there. Again, keep tapping that screen. Let us know if you hear me still. Because I guess we're in a bad section. And we got weak signal over here. Really? I'm sorry. Oh, she's from Winter Haven. Oh, well, if she's from Winter Haven, just tell her to come straight down 60, 60 through Bartow. And it'll be on your right hand side. Yep, right at the right hand side before you get on 60. You know where we're at. That's right. Yes, ma'am. Hey, you're on 60. That's 60. That's right on 60. Yeah. So you see this intersection? This is the Evergreen Cemetery. Actually, it's right on the outskirts of Bartow. Like he said, right on the outskirts of Bartow. Y'all tap on the screen. Let us know you can um, still hear me. Let me know. That'll confirm that my screen is not freezing up. We just doing a walk of history and haunts today. Um, we wanted to share the LB Brown house. Hmm? What'd you say? This is the Burnett family here, the one that we read about in the class. Oh, yeah? Yeah. One of the earlier settlers? Yeah. This is the first settler, actually. Okay. <laughs> so this is one of the first. Yeah. This is actually, he owned the funeral home that bought this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that bought this. To turn it into a cemetery. She said, right after you come over the bridge. Yep, exactly. Yep, that's it. That's where we're at. Ooh. Okay. 
<laughs> Lost my balance. Okay. Hi, Oh, Mike would like to know, um, Francesca, do you know of any haunted areas over in Winter Haven area? Have you ever heard of any haunted areas in this location? Any other historical places? We didn't know about the LB Brown house until leaving this cemetery one day. And we knew about it, but we just know what it was. I never knew about it. I've seen it before, but I oh, didn't you know did? what it was. Yeah. yeah, I never knew about it before <laughs> until we passed it. Which is, I was like, wow. That's an interesting piece of history that nobody, right? It's a lot of history out there. A lot of history out here everywhere that we don't we're not knowing about like they say you got to do your own research do your own research google but see, that's the thing about it how do google know all this stuff and we when don't. google came up after we did i don't get it people i know people but i'm just saying that. right we tell we tell google google tells the world Famous people there, yeah. Yeah, there are. There are. See, like this right here is another sinking plot. Um, this one over here caught my interest because it's a plot. This one over here in this tree shaded area. We gonna borrow mics. Mm -hmm. flashlight because it's getting dark again y'all look at that beautiful Ray. sunset that ray sunset it's just, just a reflection then yeah. of the clouds and the light yeah, the that's so the pretty i know i just see the shadow right over there there was somebody walking Oh, he's over there. Okay. No, I just seen this person is walking down there. Mike said he's seen a shadow over here somewhere. Y'all tap that screen. Let us know y'all are still here with us. It's starting to get dark. You know, we could stay here and do a uh, investigation. You know. <laughs> Tap the screen, tap, 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 tap that screen, tap, tap, tap. Let us know you're still there. This is the one. So this plot, I have never seen a plot like this before. Uh, this gentleman passed in 19... Okay. On the other side. There's a totally different name. Right. These are, well, yeah, we discovered this last time. So uh, they're sharing. Yeah, I'm assuming that yeah, they, they must share. be all related. But I've never seen anyone in their actual um, casket yeah. on the tombstone well, before. I think there's another one. Is that the little boy? Uh, 1903 to 1922? He's yeah, 20. No, he's, yeah, about 20. 19. And she was 1905 to 1941. Thank you so much. Thank y'all so much. Again, if y'all are into paranormal, if y'all are into history, if y'all into, <laughs> if y'all are into history, the unknown, things like that, go check out our YouTube. Our link is in our bio. Even if you're not, you can still learn something. Yeah, you can still learn something. We go to a lot of random places. I'm going to tell y'all what. We are very spontaneous people. Yeah. <laughs> but we want to go to more places. And the more support, the more interest people show, the more we're going to start doing. Doing these things. Sorry if y'all can't hear me. I'm like right by the road. But um, 
definitely the more support we get the more interest people show in what we do because there's not many black black or african-american paranormal investigators out there and we're very limited so it's a different it's a different niche i mean it's 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 different come on y'all give us some credit give us some credit we like to have fun with it as well sometimes we can be a little a little crazy a little funny but you know what's crazy though when you look at a plot and look at the date and it's your birthday that somebody passed on it just makes you wonder and think right the trees are beautiful especially against that sunset nature is a beautiful thing we take it for granted every day I've seen some yeah I don't know I've seen some pretty trees I've seen some trees that if they could speak I would wonder what the heck are they saying and I know they have a lot of history a lot of history we might not want to hear about trees oh yeah oh yeah just imagine how many right guys y'all help us get to those 60 six thousand likes i would like eight thousand likes y'all keep tapping that screen help us get to that ten thousand followers oh yeah that would be lovely that would be lovely Just tap that screen, tap, tap, tap. Y'all see this down here? Why does it look like somebody's standing down there? Ain't nobody else in the cemetery right now, but me and Mike, boo. Ooh, hold up. Right there, it look like somebody's standing right there. Let me know if y'all see that. Right here. Well, I look like somebody is straight ahead. I look like somebody standing there. Is that my eyes playing with me? The black. Maybe it's just a shadow. Yeah. All right. My eyes might be playing games with me. Just looks like somebody's standing there watching us. Do we have any sensitives in here with us right now? People that are sensitive to the spirits? Any mediums? I would love... I would love to have a medium join us um, on one of our ghost hunts. Wonder why they got leaves on these um, tombstones. They haven't been cleaned off. Yeah, but it's only these. All these under the tree. Right. But it looks like they just piled up on there. Look at the size. See, the size ain't got. Bad spot. We have the 200. We're going to move all over. What I'm saying. Right. Yeah. But you were saying it'd be all on the ground too. Right. It's not. It's just piled on top of the tombstone. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. That is weird. Same thing. See? Yeah. Thank you all for the taps. Again, y'all go check out our YouTube, our bio. Our link is in our bio. Subscribe to our YouTube. Um, I haven't really been doing too much posting over there and I'm trying to
stay motivated posting these YouTube videos. It's a lot of work, especially when you already have a job. So we just like to share the things that we find um, as far as paranormal history, unknown history that we didn't know about. And we believe that the two go hand in hand. So if y'all can be so generous enough just to go and subscribe to Drina and Mike's Paranormal Adventures on YouTube, we would really appreciate the support. Um, we've been doing this like we we've been ghost hunting for over 12 years. Um, we've been documenting our ghost hunts on YouTube for going on our fourth year. Actually, this December will be our fourth year. So we didn't start out just doing ghost hunts for YouTube. We started because it was something we were actually interested in. Um, and we are genuinely interested in it because we both experienced things in our past that made us question, is there life after death? Is there something here besides just us that we see and things that we can't see? Because we've heard, we've witnessed things that are unexplainable. So we are not necessarily playing with fire, I don't feel like, but we're just trying to find more evidence for people. And the things that we have witnessed and recorded, it's, it's crazy. It's hot. So this is the plaque for the cemetery. For those that didn't get to see it when we first came here. Then there's a continue on the other side when they talk about things. And that'll explain to y'all exactly uh, where we're at. Sorry if I'm moving a little too fast and I hope my signal is picking up. If y'all could please keep tapping on that screen. Tap on that screen, show us some love. We appreciate it. Let us know we still have a signal as well. 